all in today's webinar session. Amu, the story of 3.6 million entrepreneurs. India's number one dairy brand, Amul, has taught us some of the most unique management lessons, such as engagement, innovation, entrepreneurship, and risk-taking. But how did Amul become such a phenomenal success? How did Amul was instrumental in putting India's dairy industry onto the world's map? What it takes to stand in the face of adversity and to outsmart the competition? How did a selfless and visionary leadership empower 3.6 million farmers and what future business leaders can learn from it. This and much more will be discussed today with our esteemed panelist, Dr. R.S. Sodi. But before we introduce him, let us introduce the New Delhi Institute of Management. Established in 1992, NDIM has been declared as the first and the only mentor business school of India. And the only B school continuously declared best in India three years in a row for industry linkages and under 19 other parameters, including placement by AICTE, Government of India, and Confederation of Indian Industries. NDM is the only business school declared best in India by ASOCHAM, the Associated Chamber of Commerce and Industry, continuously for last five years for placement parameters and as best in North India. FIKI, the Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, has also declared NDIM as the best in India for excellence in employability through industry engagement. NDIM is the first and the only business school in the country to be declared best in India for industry linkages and placements simultaneously by all premier national trade and industry chambers of industry, chambers of country and by AICTE, Government of India. Without further ado, let us introduce our eminent panelist for today's webinar, Dr. R.S. Sodi. Dr. Rupinder Singh Sodi is Managing Director of Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation Limited, Amul. He has 40 years of rich experience in leading and developing cooperative sector within Indian dairy industry. He has been responsible for creating the current structure of Amul, enabling the organization to maintain and enhance its leadership status within Indian dairy industry. For more than three decades, Dr. Sodi has worked under direct guidance and mentorship of father of white revolution, Dr. Vargas Kurian. He has ensured that values cherished by Dr. Kurian, such as integrity, dedication, courage, honesty, and commitment to farmers and customers remain deeply ingrained in the culture of Amul. Welcome, sir. The session will be moderated by Ms. Anuradha Goyal. Ms. Anuradha Goyal is an active philanthropist involved in social welfare activities for the last 40 years. She is currently working as a chairperson of PhD Family Welfare Foundation and PhD Chambers Women and Child Development Committee. <clears throat> she is president and founding member of St. Stephen's Hospital Patients Welfare Society, instrumental in raising funds and treatment for over 30,000 juveniles. Previously, she has served as a president of FIKI Ladies Organization during the Silver Jubilee Year of National Network of Professional Business Women, a member of Delhi Social Welfare Board and Vice Chairperson of SARC Chamber of Women Entrepreneur Council India. Welcome, ma'am. Now, allow us to introduce today's host, Dr. Vish Mohan Bansal. Dr. V. M. Bansal, Chairman, New Delhi Institute of Management, is a former civil servant and has been the youngest and the longest serving secretary, commissioner, principal commissioner, and director of India's biggest statutory urban body, DDA Government of India, for the last 28 years. He has headed several public sector undertakings and, were, uh, and was advisor to the Lieutenant Governor Delhi at the time of Commonwealth Games 2010. Over to Chairman, sir. Thank you very much, Vivek. In fact, uh, I will like to give all the time and, and all the privilege to Dr. Sodi. It is a big honor for the college, for the college students and faculty, for all our staff, and I must say, so this up, that uh, today's attendees also include students, academia, and industry leaders from across the country. Because we send invites being a mentor institution of the government of India, the only one till today. So we, whenever we host distinguished leaders like you, we send invites to the entire academic data 
and the students data that we have in our position and most of the time several people from the government of india from the education regulators ugc acte they also join here and i remember 8 10 months back one of the webinars was attended by mr uh, rao the cmd of gmr group so most of these webinars are attended by those people who want to be really learning from proven leaders like you so it's a pleasure and honor having you and of course the drill will be followed as you mentioned and before that i'll request anuradha ji and convey my sincere thanks to her and she would of course take it forward because she happens to be not only the board director of ndm but a very very big industry leader and a women leader support to us anuradha ji thank you dr bansal dr rs Uh, Sodhi ji, MD Amul, Dr. Bansal, Chairperson, NDIM, esteemed board members, faculty, students, and friends. Dr. Sodhi will share with us the outsta outstanding growth journey of India's first cooperative movement, Amul. Amul has paved the way for introducing cooperative farming in India. I first met Dr. Sodhi virtually. when i was the chair when i as the chair of the phd family welfare foundation had the honor and privilege of conferring the astitva samman the phd astitva samman on amul uh, for the commendable work done by this corporate in the employment and upliftment of women dr sodhi it was a really a proud privilege and i must share with you that when the jury which is made up of four is retired officers two lawyers two industrialists when the name of amul and dr sodhi came everyone stood up and gave a standing ovation even before you got the thought so they were so happy that we were giving the award to amul during the award function we heard of the growth story from dr sodhi and saw a small film on the excellent work done by amul in teaching women dairy farming as a means of earning a livelihood in this instilled in them the confidence and uh, to help them start a business subsequently countless women have become self sufficient and atmanirbhar in the current words of our honorable prime minister Dr. Sodhi, I saw your whole presentation when you addressed the Fiki Ladies Organization. It was great learning for all of, all of us present there. I felt then that the faculty and students of NDIM will benefit greatly from the journey of Amul and from your presentation. That is why I suggested to Dr. Bansal that as part of our, uh, the continuous nation building exercise of NDIM. we should uh, have dr sodhi and i am very very grateful to you for kindly accepting it a very warm welcome to you namaskar and in the light of in once again before we were talking to sodhi sir before start of the webinar i'll take another half a minute so today anuradha ji i feel so happy for another reason because sodhi sir comes from the same area or same belt where we come from I remember when we were young kids, small kids in Bhatinda. So my father, somebody used to come to Delhi. They would take a brick of amul with from with them from Delhi to Bhatinda, <laughs> and we were we we used to see that we just touch it, we don't eat it, so that lasts for a long, long, long time. Not knowing that we'll be having a privilege of sitting with Dr. Sodhi one day. Yeah, over to you, Sodhi sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh good evening uh, to all the participants for this uh, webinar i feel privileged that i have been invited to talk to the new delhi institute of management students faculty academician alumni i am very thankful to dr v m bansal ji for giving me this opportunity and also madam arwada goel ji for recommending my name and uh, i'm very happy that uh, today besides the students a lot of academicians alumni and other faculty members have joined 
and uh, i hope after today's interaction i mean lot of your queries or whatever your uh, any thing you wanted to know about this amul brand which is today india's the biggest not only dairy brand but also food and fmcg brand last year turnover of 61000 crore and uh, the topic for today's talk is story of 3.6 million entrepreneurs and i wanted to tell you how these entrepreneurs started forming this organization 75 years back and how they could make it india's biggest food company very ageless brand ever growing brand and uh, competing world's best of the brands and still getting a growth much higher than the industry or the other competition so i think more because of uh, the value systems and the business philosophy for which this brand was established uh, we have got a i think 6 7 minutes film so i'll request the organizers if they can play about the history of the brand so then later on i'll make a half an hour presentation sure sir i will play it now oh boy. the year 1946 gujarat the seat of an epic struggle the air is rife with a cry for liberation a revolution is in the making a young man reared in the gandhian tradition is in the thick of a nationalist movement organizing farmers yahi se shuru hua itihas wo dekh chala raha hai ha अपनो त्रिभुवन भाई पटेल लेके किसानों की फरियाद जा रहा वल्लभ भाई पटेल के पास इसका तो एक ही रास्ता है त्रिभुवन ओलसन है काढ़ी को डेरी तुम्हारी अपनी होनी चाहिए तुम लोगों की अपनी कोऑपरेटिव डेरी ताकि मुनाफा बिचोलियों की जेब के बदले तुम्हारी जेब तक पहुंचे बोर्न आउट ऑफ अ ड्रीम अ ड्रीम फॉर द इकोनॉमिक लिबरेशन ऑफ द फार्मर्स द प्रोटेस्ट मूवमेंट गेन स्ट्रेंथ एंड मच्योर्ड इन टू अ मास मूवमेंट द बैटल लाइन व ड्रोन द माइटी ब्रिटिश एम्पायर अगेंस्ट अंडफुल ऑफ फार्मर्स तुम सब लोग भी अच्छी तरह से सोच लो अगर तुम लोग जोखिम और नुकसान उठाने के लिए तैयार हो तो मैं तुम्हारा साथ देने के लिए तैयार हूँ मतलब भाई रोज रोज के मरने से एक दिन का मरना बेहतर दिस रेवोल्यूशनरी आइडिया ब्रोट अंडर इट्स फोल्ड विजनरीज लाइक सरदार पटेल द आयन मैन ऑफ इंडिया द डोन ऑफ फ्रीडम फ्रॉम डोमिनेशन डाउट एंड डेथ अ स्टोरी ऑफ स्ट्रगल एंड ब्रेस्ट and fate made fortunate because amul din just survive it thrived today millions of farmers have joined the revolution and transformed their destinies every community each creed all castes are a part of this river of milk rallying to make india the world's largest milk producer today like every day they get their milk tested for quantity fat content and freshness the milk is then quickly chilled to prevent spoilage and transported in the wink of an eye to amul's high tech dairies hidden amidst these state of the art plants is a tiny shed that was once the nerve center of amul home to the legendary dr varghese kurian It was here that the Amul movement was guided by this visionary who believed in the power of the people 
who shaped the destiny of a fledgling farmers movement. So significant were his achievements that he is considered the milkman of India and his birthday has been declared the National Milk Day. Co-ops to a fellow like me is a matter of faith. It is um, almost a religion. And unless you have faith, certain things cannot be done. Farmers' movement to a global company. Thanks to GCMMF, India's largest food products marketing organization, farmers are key to Amul. Not just owners, but decision makers. They're part of an innovative three-tier organizational structure called the Anand Pattern. Amul has scaled the highest peaks only because of its strong roots. The farmers who help it flourish every day. The cattle that aren't just cows but members of the Amul family. Constant interactions are a hallmark of family. Farmers interact with representatives of the company they own. Learning, teaching, growing together. Whether it's the latest techniques of animal husbandry or mastering farm economics and making management plans that reduce costs and increase profits, Amul gives farmers the tools to take control of their financial future. Amul also works closely with farmers to upgrade the quality of their cattle through artificial insemination and breeding programs. Herd improvement is done scientifically through genetic testing to determine the best cattle who are then used for breeding. Thanks to the Amul Research and Development Association's painstaking efforts, overall milk yields and herd health have increased dramatically. Amul also manufactures balanced nutritious fodder at their cattle feed plant to maximize animal productivity. After all, great products need exceptional milk, which can only come from healthy, happy, well-fed cows. A sign of hope, a symbol of luck, an emblem of joy and a mark of trust. Amul is a story of surpassing all odds, of reaching for the stars but never forgetting roots of the power of people and their ability to unite, of the strength of an idea and the revolution it inspired. Thank you very much. So, presentation the load. The, by that time, we load the presentation. So, basically, you saw this short film. Actually, it was a condensed, it, actually, it was a 19 minute film. So, we condensed it for this today's uh, presentation, six, seven minutes. You can see the people who were involved from right from the foundation. Sardar Vallabhai Patel, Murarji Desai, later on, uh, Shastri Ji. So this is the, uh, now I, uh, I, everybody can see the presentation, please. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. So when I say 3.6 million entrepreneurs, so these are the people who are the owner of India's biggest food brand. I'll just give you an example of two or the life history of the two owners. You see, this lady, Swarnapan Patel, and she's just ninth pass, and she joined this business 23 years back when his husband, who got permanently sick, some, uh, what I say, paralytic attack, etc., then he stopped working. So she had one cow, and she started rearing and putting milk in the village cooperative society and then adding more. And then 
getting her children educated and all are now well settled. One is in foreign university, foreign country, other is in a bank and well qualified. And she has got own house, car, everything. And she has got now 25 animal cows and buffalo. And she is generating around 33 lakh rupees per year. So this is one. There are dozens of women, semi-illiterate, who are earning more than one crore income per annum. So please, when you think entrepreneur, do not think entrepreneur can be only the urban India or with the, some other types of machine or startup. This is also a business. I'll give you a second. Surekha Ben Patel from Navsari. She is a tribal lady. And she has got six animals around 10 years back. She started. And she is with 50 liter per day, around 5 lakh rupees per annum she's earning. She's a tribal lady. So this is a just few of the things. So before I tell more about the Amul, I'm just setting the context. If you see the beginning of the graph, this blue line is India's milk production. If you see left side, Till mid 70s, our milk production was hovering around 20 million metric ton. We were one third of USA milk production and one eighth of whole of Europe milk production. And we were equal to Australia, Netherlands, milk slightly above. And you can see the graph growing today. We, India is producing more than 210 million metric ton, more than double than the USA, and 25 to 30% more than the Europe. And you can see, we are adding every year one Australia. What Australia is producing every year total, that is the growth what we are getting every year. So how it happened? Nothing, I mean, what happened in, Till mid 70s, we were dependent on imports. Our production was not growing. I think Dr. Bansal will agree with me because I also did my schooling from Delhi, from RK Puram sector one and three. I remember during 70s getting two bottles of Delhi milk scheme milk, if you can get it, and through a aluminium card, like you have got Russian card, that time to get the milk, you had to possess <laughs> a aluminum card. Very and nice. if you, yeah. and to get that Delhi milk scheme, milk card, you need a lot of connection. <laughs> I mean, if you are, you, you feel very privileged. Hmm. And even if you have got that card, it is not short, it do, you'll get a two half a liter glass bottle of milk. You have to stand in the DMS booth for two hours, and if your number comes, you'll get it or you may not get. Those were the days of rationing of milk. I think today's younger generation or the urbanists are very lucky that you get milk at home. I remember during our childhood days, we, I mean, we are the four brothers. Every day, one brother used to stand two hours in the queue to get a liter of milk. Yeah, very right. And this all happened in mid 70s the farmers of India, the policy makers of India, and the political leadership decided that we have to become Aptam Nirbhar in Bilk or self life And what was the uh, solution for that? Replication of Amul model, which was already more or less successful in part of India, in Gujarat, across India, through White Revolution, Operation of 1, 2, 3. And you see when this Amul model, which is nothing but owned by the farmers, I'll explain later, when it was replicated, how our production grew. And we became not only by mid 90s, we become the number one in the world. We not only self-reliant, but also number one country. And we are growing every year. And all this has happened because cooperative system where farmers own the whole supply chain, not only product, they own the production, processing, and marketing under their own brand name.
So this is what is total world is around 860 million metric ton. India is around 24% of the world. And but whatever India is producing, 40% is consumed at home, only 60% is surplus. And out of that, only one third is organized. Amul may be number one brand, but we handle only 26% of the total world milk production, uh, India's milk production. India is basically, when I say milk production, it is owned by the, around all over India, there are around 9 million milk producers. 90 million, sorry, 90 million. Amul, which is a cooperative basically in Gujarat, it is managed, controlled and owned by 3.6 million farmers. Amul is neither, not a single share of any government or a private corporate or any multinational. Ownership of Amul is by these, you can see the, how these, mainly the women, they own this Amul. And I, like I said, when, uh, in, uh, till mid 40s, I'm now taking your story of how Amul found in, uh, you saw in the film 1940s, dairy farmers were exploited, middle went, and that time we are dependent on imports. And that time the farmers, you saw, they went to Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel gave them that time lesson to the Trivundas Patel you saw in the picture, who started Amul as a farmer leader that if you want good price for your milk, you should not only produce, you should aggregate, process, add value and market yourself. You should own the whole supply chain. I think what Sada Vallabhbhai Patel told in 1946 also holds true today also. Because we always, today we are finding that farmers are always crying that they are not getting good price for their produce. And middleman is earning more. So, if farmers have to get good uh, good price for their produce, they should not only produce, they should have a system or structure to aggregate, process, add value, and market themselves. So Amul started with only two small village villages. And after 75 years, where are we today? Amul is from 250 liters. We are last year we collected around 27 million liters of milk per day from 3.6 million farmers. We are eighth largest dairy organization in the world. You see the others who are higher than us, whether Nestle or Lactalis or Denon, they operate in 40, 50 countries. Amul is mainly operating one country, that to mainly one state. Now, definitely we have started collecting around 15 to 17% of milk from outside Gujarat. So last year turnover was 63,000 crore, 8.5 billion dollars. India's largest food brand. So we have reached to this situation. When I say it's a 75 year old organization or the brand, if you count on your fingertips, there are very few companies or brand which exists today after 75 years. I mean, very few. Not only Amul exists, but our growth rate of every decade is higher than the previous decades. So Amul is, after 70 years, is, survives, is growing at faster pace. And also one more important, I think, because you are from a management suit, you see, if you see in whole spectra of the brands, what are brands you are using, whether food, durables, or for service, there is no other brand which is catering or which is considered premium brand across all income or socioeconomic levels. Whether you are very rich for you are also considering Amul butter as a premium or Amul ice cream, or if you are a security man or a driver or working in a factory, you also consider Amul is for me. It's only one. And also across three or four generations, it is in the market leadership 
I mean, your grandfather, like Dr. Bansal mentioned, his father was also consuming and using amul butter. And today, I think his grandchildren are also using. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Yeah. And yeah. If, if I tell you count any other brand, you will not get any brand. Whether you soaps and I mean, your grandparents were using different brand and you are using a different brand. And that too, after 75 years. Well, so, how it has happened? Why it has happened? So, I'm going to tell you what are the reasons for the success of Amul. And these are the lessons which any business organization, whether anywhere you work, it's not only for Amul, any business enterprise in India, if they follow these things, these six reasons, I think nobody can stop you. You can grow them. These are leadership philosophy consistent. So talking about the leadership, I think we were very lucky that we got very, very selfless, dedicated and visionary leadership like Shri Tribhundas Patel. You can see right hand side who started Amul Cooperative 1946. You saw him in the picture. And also very, very competent and dedicated professional leadership, Dr. Varghese Kurian. Trivantas Patel was a leader, is a farmer. He could attract, retain, motivate, and protect a professional leader like Dr. Varghese Kurian. In 1949, Dr. Varghese Kurian returned from USA after completion of his master's in dairy and metallurgy from Michigan State University. In 1946, he had gone, 1948, late he returned. And he, was, he came to Anand on a six months apprenticeship because he had gone on government scholarship. So for a compulsory internship, he came to Anand. And this political leader, Tribhundas Patel, could attract retail me for 61 years. You can see how visibly both were. Dr. Varghese Kurin, a Keralite, from a very well-connected family. His first one uncle was a, India's first finance minister. His father was a very high post in defense. And all well-connected. But he chose a place called Anand with just 5,000 population, a village. No place to stay. You see behind, when he came in 1946, he stayed in this garage. Because being a Christian, nobody was ready to give him a house or rent. Because he was non-vegetarian. <coughs> this is the vision a professional had that he could see that he's staying and he's working with Amul will make not the Amul biggest brand, but also India's as number one milk producing in the world. And the philosophy leaders, so we were lucky. The other reason for success is the philosophy, which these founders, you saw these two founders, they inculcated, they founded for Amul, which is value for many and value for money. Value for many means providing very stable and remunerative price to 3.6 million farmers for whom selling milk after production is a livelihood. In any agriculture produce, if you can ensure very stable and regulatory price for the, to the farmer, they will produce day after day. So here they ensured that whatever milk is produced, it will be purchased at a very good price, even if you produce more, even season is there or not. So that was the one reason. The other very important part of business philosophy was the value for money. By providing best quality product, by using latest technology in processing, packaging, best of the branding strategies, providing the product made out of the most best natural ingredients, but at an affordable price to millions and billions of consumers. So what we, they ensured, if you take care of these two main stakeholders in the food value chain, one side the producer, the other side is a consumer. Your business will succeed 
and you will grow day after day. So basic philosophy was give more to earn more. Give more to the farmers, give more to the consumer, and they'll be with you and your business will grow. You can see if I compare how Indian farmers or milk producers getting vis-a-vis so-called world's biggest, not biggest, advanced dairy producing country. In India, any farmer will get 70 to 75% of what consumer pay for liter of milk any city of India, whether Delhi, Bombay, Calcutta. In case of Amul, it may be 80%, but I'm talking average industry. But if you compare it with the other world countries, farmer gets only one third. And day by day, farmer's share in the consumer rupees reducing because the middlemen, the retailers, and the big multinationals and process, they have started earning more. But farmer's share is reducing. Reason is simple. In India, the supply chain whole is owned by the mainly farmers. So even any private dairy comes, they have to match what properties are paying. So naturally, they have to pay to more to the farmers and reasonable price to the consumer. Other reason, I think a lot of people ask me that what is the reason for the success of Amul? And if I, I have to explain in one word the reason for success of Amul, it is consistency. When you say consistency is, one is the business structure. So you saw the, our business structure of Amul, the three-tier structure, where at the bottom of it, 3.6 million left side, you can say farmers. In each village society, around 200 farmers are there. They form a society where milk is procured, payment is made based on the quality and quantity, which is electronically tested, and money is digitally transferred to the farmer's account. And there are around 18,500 village cooperative societies. And there are 18 district union. District union is basically having processing facilities. So each district union is having around 1,000 village cooperative societies under them. So district union collects the milk from the village cooperative society, process the milk, make value added products under Amul brand name, and then products are given to the State Milk Federation for marketing under Amul brand name, where I work. So when State Milk Federation sells these products across India, and like in Delhi and other places, whatever money is taken from the farmer or from the consumer, after delivering expenses, the money is given back, whatever balance is given back to the district union, district union gives it back to the village cooperative society, and village cooperative society gives it to milk producers or 3.6 million farmers. So it is the whole money which is taken from the consumer goes back to the farmers after meeting all the expenses. Besides that, cattle feed, veterinary services, and other services are provided. And at the end of the year, additional price difference or dividend is also provided. So you can say that this business model takes care of farmers and consumers together. Under operation flood, when this model was replicated across India by National Dairy Development Board, right hand side, you can see there are 16.6 million uh, co uh, members of the villages, I mean, in the various states. I mean, like Gujarat, Amul is there, Karnataka, Nandini is there, Punjab, Verka is there, Rajasthan, Saras is there, Haryana, Vita is there, Bihar, Sudha is there. So these all have come out of Amul replication model under operation. So this structure last 75 years has not changed, not changed the philosophy of value for money and value for money. The other reason for success in consistency, consistent product recipe. I mean, what butter, Dr. Bansal, you eat today, it is the same bun, but 60 years back, your grandfather, I mean, your father used to bring it from Delhi to Batista. Right, yeah. That is why we have been just caught into that taste all the time. So you can understand, yeah. I can tell you, there are very few examples in the FMCG where 
product recipe, especially in food, has not changed. What happens if any food product, any FMC product they succeeds, the next best thing which any manufacturer will do, how to reduce the cost of production of the product. And in food, how to reduce the cost of production? You replace the expensive ingredients with the cheap or synthetic ingredients. Like in the case of butter, you replace 50% fat with the vegetable oil. Or in ice cream, you replace dairy fat, which is 400 rupees kg with 100 rupees kg of palm oil in oil. Or you add more sugar to earn more profit. But Amul, we have never changed recipe of the product looking into cost of production. Sometimes recipe may have to change because the taste, you want to reduce sugar, you want to add more flavor or other color, etc. But never to reduce the cost. Of, and that is why consumers buy blindly thinking that this product is same what he or she has been buying. The third very important, I think, because you are um, a lot of students are marketing and uh, branding side, communication. So what branding or positioning has been taken in the beginning when brand was launched, we have continued. I mean, if you see the top of the mind is what is basically, you know, butter, utterly butterly delicious. The other branding strategy which we used is the umbrella branding. You can see we sell Amul butter, Amul cheese, Amul milk, Amul ice cream, any one brand. Because we know that if you have got one brand or one child, you can nurture it better. You can invest in one brand. You require less resources because our annual advertising expense is only 1% of our sales, less than 1% of our sales turn. In fact, it is now reduced to 0.8%. Vis-a-vis all other food brands or FMCG brands, they spend around 8 to 10% of their sales turnover on advertising and branding. So we have built Amul brand with less than 1% of our sales turnover investments in the branding or advertising. And this is mainly because of umbrella, umbrella branding strategy. So which I said just now, 1%. And right from, you can say right from 50s, we started investing in the brand building. You can see the 19, some of the, Dr. Varghese Kuren that time thought, he, it, in 50s, Polson butter was there or other imported butter was being sold. So how to compete with them? You have to do the brand building. So from 50s, when no Indian brand used to think of advertising, of branding, Amul started advertising. And that time, this positioning, which was adopted, you see 1966, utterly, butterly delicious. We have not changed. Utterly, butterly delicious campaign. What you see today, where this little butter girl is commenting on anything and everything happening in the Bollywood, Hollywood, sports, political scenario. You can see this is some of the old butter topical. And this campaign, you see, any, anywhere I go, I say I'm from Amul. The first thing people talk about is the, the Zodiji, aapki wo Amul butter topical campaign bahut badi hai. So you, there is, I, I mean, there is no other example where a top of the mind recall of any brand is because of campaign and not because of the product. Aapko mein bolu, Sony, to aapke dimaag mein TV aayega. If I tell you Maruti, aapke dimaag mein car aayegi. But if I tell you Amul, this topical campaign comes. And we build Amul brand through this campaign for more than 55, 56 years by spending just peanuts. Not, I can say the, this campaign, we are spending nothing. Just creative is created. And on social media and press, we are spending a little bit. But still it is, I mean, every today on this, you, you today only we have released one uh, topical on Jap Japanese uh, Prime Minister's untimely death, Alvida. And not only 
positioning of butter. If you see 1966, butter utterly, but really delicious. 94, we adopted this positioning of taste of India. We have continued. In 96, when we lost ice cream, we said real milk, real ice cream, we continued. And in 2000, Amul Dud Pita India. So any positioning we adopt, we don't change it. And all our creative agencies, we tell them, please think as many times as that, but do not change the positioning once you are selected. And one more thing, in case of utterly butter campaign where we are giving you butter topical, we do not approve that campaign. Our advertising agency, they created, I mean, they conceive it, create it, they put it on the social media press. We see it when you, you see it. So that is the flexibility or the ownership given to the professional agency to create this creative campaign. The third reason, I think, uh, I don't know how many of you will be agree with or happy with this, HR practices. When I say HR practices, that in my team, I can tell you all the top people, whether I'm there or my number two, number three, number four, all of them are their own first job in their life. We, we, we don't make any literal recruitment. We go to the campuses, test to the campus, hire people, and they grow with the organization. There are people who join any year, there'll be 100 people joining, maybe 70 people leaving after three, four, five years. But whatever left, they make the future of this organization. So we have been following this actual practice right from beginning that people within the organization will grow. And this is also responsible for keeping purity of the DNA of the organization. You see, like you've got a DNA of your parents. So we want the culture, the value system, which is inculcated in the organization by through the founders is pure. So no, there's no crossbreeding in the organization. There may be some, we can say that there may be some losses also, or we may be not able to get the news, but this, this practice is paying us dividend. I am with this organization for more than, first job after college, 40 years. My CEO is also for more than 32 years with the organization. So a number of people with this. And uh, I, I feel this is one of the very, very important reason for the success of Amul today. The other reason is technology adoption at all level. I mean, being a cooperative or being a uh, organization owned by farmer does not mean that we will not adopt the leaders. In Amul, uh, right from milk collection at village cooperative society, to the marketing of a butter or any product, the best technology available in the world we are using, whether digital technology or other processing technology. And this supply chain, we, I mean, our business, we can say that Amul is in the business of C2C or B2C, cow to consumer or buffalo to consumer. You can see the number of transaction because when you collect milk twice in a day from 7.2 million, uh, 3.6 million, 7.2 million transaction for milk collection, fully computerized, integrated, each farmer and the animal data is integrated through SAP and automatic milk collection system. And retailing is done through 10,000 distributor to 1 million retailers through distribution management system. So whole system is integrated by using latest digital technology and the processing technology and the logistic technology. I mean, this is a few pictures of our village cooperative society where you can see that any milk is coming, how it is tested on the computer system. Left hand side, you see the ladies testing milk when the lady is pouring outside milk there. Milk is uh, cool, chilled at the bulk milk cooler, right hand side, bottom. And then you can see at the top the whole computer system where payment, etc., is made. 
and how the app based system is there how the farmers come to know that to bring transparency that how much milk she has given in this society how much money has been credited in our account in the uh, account through app system so the, immediately you come to know that i have given 5 liters of milk and this much money has been transferred and every day 145 to 50 crore rupees are paid to the farmer you see how much it is contributing the economy mainly to the gujarat 150 crore rupees per day in the rural gujarat we are pouring and now 15% of it is outside gujarat also and this is the you can see on the app how this whole system come in the local and how much milk she has given how much we kaun sa tha what rate of milk and what fat and what time she has given the whole app based system is there and also other reason for success is timely creation of dedicated supply chain and the innovation in that so amul we are basically logistic wise we are maintaining four type of distribution ive when i say distribution ive means from factory to the consumer or retailers so one distribution ive is first is i can say is the chilled product that is butter cheese where 0 to 4 degree right from plant to the retailer whole distribution ive is or distributors are maintained then for mbn product like uh, your uh, ghee powder tetra pack milk where product is stored and transported at mbn temperature then amul is the only uh, brand which is pan india has got frozen product distribution highway that is minus 20 deg 20 degree so whether you are in le or you are in jorat in uh, assam or you are in coimbatore or kanyakumari or you are in jaisalmer or up country you will find amul distributor or amul retailer selling frozen products and fourth the most difficult distribution i which we have got out pan india is the fresh product mainly for milk dahi butter milk paneer where product is processed pack nearer to the market like in case of delhi we are number one in milk or butter dahi or butter milk we have got seven plants around delhi where milk is processed pack and within 2 3 hours milk is reaching to the each and every part of delhi every day like in today in delhi we sold 40 lakh liters of milk today 40 lakh liters means kitna ho gaya pata hai is around 25 crore rupees 25 crore rupees milk only has been sold in delhi today leave aside the butter cheese or dahi or that that but that only through local from factory it goes to the various market directly by our distributor so reason i mean for amul success today is because very very robust well penetrated distribution chain right from our plants to consumer and similarly backward i have shown you from plant to the farmers of 3.6 so reason for amul today leadership is basically both backward and forward well entrenched distribution system today we have got 76 sales of office you can see across india 10000 plus dealers 1 million retailers and all part of india as well as to various uh, around 55 countries abroad and time to time we kept on innovating the products i mean 60 70s we were having only this baby food ghee butter or cheese and as the time goes we kept on adding new products when I mean, every month we had two new products or variants and also innovating product like whether milk is there or ice cream is there or flavored milk is there and now we are investing lot in you can see the ethnic sweets ras malai kesar peda but I mean, these are the because now we got technology to give 45 days shelf life and now consumer is doubting about the purity of the sweets available in the market so we now got that technology innovation also done and lactose free milk because some people are lactose intolerant for them lactose free milk lactose free ice cream and now flavored milk also we are adding so every month two new products or variants are launched 
so what is the process uh, basically amul success factors one is the affordable nutrition we have made pure natural source of nutrition which is affordable by average indian and the average indian is lower middle class so whether you buy our butter cheese or milk it is affordable and it has also provided employment to 3.6 million farmers family mainly the women with the dignity because they are earning them they their in the their land society in the uh, acceptance in the society as well as in their whole family grows much far better because they are under the and it's a very sustainable job 365 days no seasonality not anything happened but even covid nothing happened to the farmers income out of the milk because not over a single hour the supply chain of milk stopped it is, is the best example of women empowerment they feel empowered they are earning they are dependent on their husband income and they are well respected in the society because of their earning strength and also this is also a model for any developing country where they want to develop small farmers in the rural countryside and this happened because farmers control the whole value chain and maximum percentage of consumer going back to the farmers or milk producer and also remunerative prices to the farmer and other side taking care of a consumer there is amul amul brand which has been here developed last 75 years dr vargis kurian has all told us that always think that consumer or customer is smarter than you and your millions and billions of consumers should have not only loyalty or faith in your brand they should have blind faith in your brand like they have got in religion where they don't question so you it takes lot of efforts to have blind faith of consumers in the brand where your customer she walks into a shop she picks up amul butter without looking left or right because she knows that this brand is giving you best product this brand will never cheat me this brand will never short change me and that comes purely because of experience it will not be come by advertising only or putting up lot of money in packaging and other thing so reason for amul success is having blind faith of consumer in the brand and the products of amul and also building brand day after day for dairy cooperatives and also latest technology can and marketing innovation you see so this is the mainly reason for the success of amul and no doubt lot of challenges are also coming and i think that i'll handle in question answer thank you very much thank you thank you dr bansal are you going to say a few words in fact we would say all the words after the q and a because one yes. has nothing to say it has been just learning and learning through and yes. through and you know some questions are very interesting and i am sure we'll have better clarity and learning after the q and a but the only uh -huh. thing is when as odi ji mentioned is that we have seen in our house for four generations okay so nothing nothing more than that biggest question of course that comes to my mind or maybe to everybody's mind is how have you ensured that customer confidence or as you say blind confidence into the quality of the product for the last four generations because whatever you may try you may have best of the management best of the people working with you best of the supply chain best of everything but somewhere the other either your quality gets diluted or even if it doesn't get diluted some other brand name makes a bigger quality 
blind faith into the customer. So in your case, none of the two have happened. You continue to be the first chosen blind confidence supplier. How is that? That is a very intriguing and very interesting question. So, uh, Dr. Bansa, you're right. Because what butter you eat, it may be manufactured in any of our nine butter manufacturing facilities. And taste is same across all nine and also across the last 50, 60 years. So, what, so very, very stringent quality systems are there. See, first is we have got four types of quality checks any milk you eat. First is quality of milk is checked at the village cooperative society when farmer is pouring milk. There are electronic machine which checks whether there's adulteration or not. Then once the milk is transported to the nearest processing plant, there again it is checked that en route nothing wrong has happened. Nobody has tried to do any mischief. Then at that time after processing, we are packing the product before packaging. Also, product is checked that it is meeting the all the our standards, so SOPs are there. And fourth check is when product is packed, stored, at the time of dispatch in the market, again, it is checked. And not only checks for, there are double system for checking. One is, you see, I mentioned that district unions are having processing plant and they are transporting, adding, uh, processing it. So district union have got their own quality people who will check everything. Over and above that, state federation also got their quality office above them in each of our processing plant. So each butter, when it is packed, first is checked by the quality officer of the district union because they naturally, they are the production people, so they may try to do something or if any, but then state federation quality officer is also there. He has to or she has to pass the batch, then only it is released in the market. But let me tell you, this blind faith is not only because of quality. It is more in vibrant you know, thing that you will not compromise everywhere. Today, I see that, okay, thoda fat kam kar do, thoda sugar bada do, customer ko pata nahi chalega, you have got a one liter pack of ghee, you reduce 50 ml, keep the pack size of same, consumer will not come to know. That is nothing but cheating consumer. If I'm buying today, I mean, you, you, you remember during your younger days, what used to be the premium soap? Lux. Yeah. Yeah. And what, what was the free fat content of Lux that time and what is today? Yeah, very right, very right. So yeah, people try to... Known that, yeah, yeah. They, they try to reduce the cost of production by... Uh, so, right. But in Amul, that we have not done it. Hmm. And that is basically has gone into the philosophy of whole organization that quality will not compromise in quality. Mm. So not only quality, say price also. Yeah. We have right. never tried to, when today butter is in short supply or COVID less, so you don't try to see that the premium charge is low. Mm. So yeah. If you see last 70 years or 60 years butter price, it has never crossed more than the inflation. Right. It is yeah. always below the inflation. Very right, you're right. Similar. Today, yeah. hmm. today in food products, you see, if inflation is 15 to 20 percent, 25, I liberal 40, 50 percent. But dairy products last two years, price increase in dairy is only eight to nine percent. Okay. Even in Europe, USA, it is 15 to 20 percent. Okay. Because India, why it is not more? Because farmers own the organic. They know ki, okay, we are under pressure, so is the consumer. They are very well concerned. So that is why you have got blind faith in the brand. And quite right. One more, of course, before I hand over to them, another question just came to my mind. You know, you, you know, whatever shop you generally go to purchase, the retailer, they will always say, Can you say, ye product hai, aap ye le lo. it happens in the case of medicines, it happens in the case of almost everything. Why is it not happening in your case? How you manage your retailers? 
You see, what you say is, it is a push strategy of brand, where brand would like to have retailer or the supply chain brand push your product, recommend your product. By giving more margin on incentives, we call it bribery. But Amul has maintained a strategy of pull, right? Consumer pull. It is not that today from retailer, especially from this big modern retailer, the bade bade aage aaj ka modern retail or e-commerce, and they want hefty margins because the expenses are more. But they are forced to keep our products Correct. because of pull strategy adopted. Because ultimately, you see, consumer is, if consumer is with you, yeah, yeah. Supply chain partners will be forced to keep your product, sell your product, and retailers also. We don't. We sell okay. I may be giving eight percent margin, and my competitor may be giving fifteen percent margin. And you say that मुझे उसके बराबर अब दूध में जो आपके घर पे आता है, we give a retailer a margin of one rupee fifty paise per liter. All other brands will give four rupees, five rupees a liter, but we tell them you have got the same space. same time if you sell one crate of them that an amul will be 10 crates from the same or same ice cream cabinet or same butter refrigerator right, right. so how much you have to see how much from the each square foot of space or time you are selling so your total margin will be more per okay. unit margin is low yeah. but total margins are more in amul and okay. also you are keeping your And also, you're keeping your ten customer happy and satisfied. They'll come tomorrow to you because you are. They are getting their brand. If out of those ten customers, you force other brand, the next day the customer may not come to you. That that's a fantastic, you know, strength that your brand or your products have acquired. I was even just now saying your kadai dud. I just saw here in one of your ads only. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Please, Tina and Banika, please, sir. Right, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Sodi, sir, for sharing wonderful presentation with us. And it was um, great to know so many success factors of Amul. So, sir, we received a lot of questions, and uh, we would request you to address them. Uh, what has been the biggest challenge in recent years that Amul has faced as a brand, and um, if you could share some steps taken by you to deal with those challenges? See, uh, for any brand recently, no doubt during COVID, maintaining our supply chain from farmers to consumer that was because everything was uh, stopped. But we were lucky that uh, milk was considered as a essential. So, but bringing everybody on the board. People think nothing will happen. So there also we use the communication strategy, communicating the farmers that your milk will be procured without any problem. Communicating to the our logistic partner, you have to collect the milk. Your drivers and cleaner will get the pass. We'll ensure people who are coming in the factories, you come work in the plants. You will be taken. You are we arrange for their stay in the plant, fed all the meals to them, and same is with to the distributor retailers. We tell them this is a time. This is not only your business. It is duty nation, duty to the nation. Because if you don't provide food, people sitting at home, nobody will sit at home. Everybody on the road. So that was the biggest challenge. But because of the help from everybody and the communication, we could. But besides that, you see, as a dairy industry, long with the challenge, there are two, three main challenges. One is. next generation how to motivate next generation of farmers to stay in the villages and keep produce good food for the people because they find it is not a glamorous it is not a startup so especially the educated next generation so for them how to make dairy as a commercially good enterprise dairy as a glamorous business dairy as a contemporary business dairy as a cool business so that is the biggest challenge second challenge is hamare paas bharat mein around 30 crore cows and buffalo we can't afford more so how to improve the productivity so that we are working third is this 
फॉल्स प्रोपोगंडा स्पेशली आज के जो यूथ बड़े सोशल में कि दुनिया भर के ट्रेंड आ जाते हैं कि ये वेगन है ये है वो है एंड व्हेन यू सी जैसे कहते हैं वो को, कोला में होता है एम्प्टी कैलोरी इसमें एम्प्टी न्यूट्रिएंट्स है नथिंग इज देयर बट फॉल्स प्रोपोगंडा और आज का यूथ बड़ी जल्दी उस तरफ फॉल्स प्रोपोगंडा सोशल मीडिया तो हाउ टू टेक केयर हाउ टू कम्युनिकेट अबाउट द गुड गुडनेस of natural dairy products vis a vis factory manufactured chemically produced artificially fortified so called uh, plant based product this is nothing plant only 5 to 6 per plant baki sab chemicals honge okay. but that is a marketing because earning is more in that so people and fourth biggest uh, challenge which we are facing is because india is not only world's biggest market but fastest growing market so the dairy surplus countries hain chahe europe ho chahe usa ho new zealand se they want to uh, lure our uh, governments for signing free trade agreements so they can dump their surplus milk and milk products in india under free trade india dairy products are allowed there are duty so there were india should allow zero duty and they give subsidies to their farmers indirectly so all these four five bigger challenges are baki chote chote to bahut hote hain thank you sir thank you for sharing those manika next question good evening sir it was good indeed evening. a pleasure listening to you and the six minutes presentation uh, the video that we saw was very very inspiring so i'll take up the question sir so my question is uh, somewhat related to how technology is helping amul Uh, like how IBM, uh, the collaboration of Amul with IBM, how that has helped Amul in the robust supply chain uh, that you've been maintaining, and because of that supply chain all over uh, India, Amul supply, especially during the COVID period, also did not stop. So how technology has helped your, uh, you know, in particular the Amul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Professor Manika, you see, we Amul has adopted supply chain from day one in. 50s the buffalo india had the buffalo milk there is no technology available to processing a buffalo milk mm. when we went to the western countries for technology they said buffalo milk cannot be processed you cannot make powder out of it because it has got double milk solids as compared to cow but dr korean is called the lab developed mm. so one thing was very clear if you have to i mean maintain supremacy in the market bring transparency and efficiency in the market you have to go for the best in technology so te we started computerization of a whole supply system i remember in 90s but there were different erp chote chote bade hote the but in 2010 we went for sap integrating the whole supply chain and ibm was made the implementing agency because because they are the best so we chose that the world's best technical journal for the erp sap and implementing is ibm so during this covid you see every when lot of work got scattered some people had to work from home in bombay delhi so overnight we took their help how to if somebody wants to operate the system sitting at home commercially billing se leke banking so overnight that thing was done and you say the type of scale which i show you it is manually now if you want to do it we we cannot do it i can tell you it is because of our this systems erp that we have got and we are able to handle such a mass numbers other it have been impossible to do it and it is bringing efficiency and transparency that is very important Right. Yes, right, sir. And I think thanks to that, I don't think anyone ever faced an issue, even for a single day during the COVID time. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't remember even a single day that we didn't get the you know milk supply. Yeah, yeah. Right. You see, whether COVID was or lockdown was for us, hmm. but not for cows or buffalo. Right. तो रुको तो रोके दूध तो आएगा ही आएगा. Right, right. <laughs> right. right sir so sir there is another interesting question that we received 
um, that over the years, Amul is well known for its unique brand strategy. And you also talked about it in your presentation of an umbrella brand strategy. Um, do you foresee any major changes to your brand strategy, especially to appeal to the younger generation, since they are not on the major mass media, maybe, you know, so that there's a better appeal to younger generation? See, you're right. You see, branding or strategy will remain same, consistent better. Only thing is the younger generation, how to reach them, that is a very big problem because they are not on major media, whether TV or you, press. So they are more on social level there. So, so for them, in the mass media, we are started investing more in the sports because they are there. Yeah. Okay, sports, okay. then in the news, then in a lot of digital marketing. Facebook, COVID may we started the biggest recipe shows through Facebook. So okay. We are trying to reach them from very well targeted digital campaigns. Okay. But let me tell you, it's a very big challenge that the youngsters are going to be Okay, mass media, it's not change, it's not scattered, but cash, digital media seems to be good. Mm -hmm. But measuring the performance is very difficult. In case uh, TV, TRP, hai, press, mein aapka wo circulation, ho jata hai. but digital media, it's not manipulation, hota hai ki it's very difficult to know what exactly is the performance what money you spent. Right. Mm. Ji, sir, that's also one of the challenges you were yeah, discussing. Yeah. Ji, sir. Yeah, yeah. Right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Well, thank another you. question which a lot of people have asked on this chat is that how Amul is going to tackle the uh, one-time use plastic ban which has recently <laughs> been uh, introduced by the government. Yes, <laughs> Dekhe, dairy, dood or plastic sath sath jate hai. Right. So that is uh, plastic film made out of virgin plastic, but that is not one time because it is 100% recycled. We have got under uh, extended producer EPR in each city. We have got our uh, organization which are uh, basically picking up recycling the plastic we have given. Single-use plastic, we had three products which we were taking. One was the ice cream spoons, right. ice cream sticks, and the straw. As well as sticks and the spoons, long back we shipped to the wooden. But from 1st July, straw ke jo hai problem, badi badi problem thi, because plastic in India, made, there was no capacity available for the paper straw. Mm -hmm. So naturally, everybody started importing it. We are very small, but there are other companies so foreign may be capacity available now but in India now government of India is allowed biodegradable straw compostable straw so there is a capacity is but we cost four or five times but as the capacity is increasing and we are also getting into manufacturing our own straw biodegradable so I think jo abhi plastic saw se 15-20 percent jada pe humko ho jayega but we are with the government Plastic use come on a day, environment ka take na. So we are going for recycling. Ab jitna bhi plastic market mein dete hai. And we are one of the largest handler of plastic, let me tell you. But we are recycling. Ab bajar mein jitna bhi ye tarpaulin milte hai, irrigation pipes milte hai. They are all of recycled plastic mainly out of milk. Sir, um, there's a question from uh, Mr. Pavan from Doha, and he's saying that since you've conquered the milk product market in India, um, what is your plan for a new vertical for vegan products like almond milk, no. soya milk, and other derivatives? Do you have any plans for that? You tell me, <laughs> Tina Ji, Ji, if you are a very, very successful gold jeweler, gold may have deal. Karte hai. Or oh, unko bhi jo pavanji ya dua mein, wahan to log bhot gold ke achche achche shuru mein. Yeah. You are dealing in pure products. Yeah. Hey, aap jis din wahan se dukaan se artificial jewelry bechna shuru kar doge, koi aapke dukaan pe gold jewelry lene aayega? Thik hai? So when you are dealing with the pure, natural, best nutrients, yeah. why I should go 
फैक्ट्री मैन्युफैक्चर केमिकली प्रोड्यूस आर्टिफिशियली फोर्टिफाइड आर्टिफिशियल कलर प्रोडक्ट्स विच इज अबाउट नाइट देखिए आप बेसिकली यू ईट फूड फॉर व्हाट न्यूट्रिशन टेस्ट एंड अफोर्डेबिलिटी मैं एवरेज इंडियन की बात कर रहा हूं अब तीन चीजों के लिए कैन यू टेल मी एनी ऑफ दिस सो कॉल्ड वैगन प्रोडक्ट मीट्स एनी ऑफ दिस फ्री रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ नेचुरल डेरी प्रोडक्ट दे आर नॉट एट ऑल टेस्टी बिकॉज केमिकल है न्यूट्रिशन वन सिक्स और वन टेंथ किसी में थोड़ा सा प्रोटीन होगा बाकी कुछ नहीं होगा किसी में फैट होगा तो बाकी नहीं एंड थर्ड अफोर्डेबल तो है टू थ्री टाइम्स मोर कॉस्टली आपको जब प्योर न्यूट्रिशन इज अवेलेबल एट एक्स वाई यू वॉन्ट टू गो वन सिक्स ऑफ द न्यूट्रिशन एट थ्री टाइम्स मोर कॉस्टली जस्ट बिकॉज उसका सोशल मीडिया पे एडवर्टाइजिंग हो गया जी सर तो नेवर और थैंक यू Sir, uh, one of the person wants to ask Mr. Abir Prakash that has uh, Amul ever faced a quality challenge, and if yes, how Amul was able to track it, and um, how you were able to overcome that uh, quality issues. Sir, I, I definitely agree. There have been quality challenges. हमारे जैसे दूध में कई बार हमारे गांव से कलेक्ट होके आता है, and so many times when whole tanker of twenty liters. When we tested the dairy plant, we find that there is some mischief going on. So we don't reject as a policy. We don't reject it. We put red color in that. So that tanker cannot be milk cannot be sold anywhere. उसको डम करने का भी पैसा खर्चा होगा. So because if you reject one tanker of twenty thousand liters, means उसकी cost होगी कम से कम दस बारह लाख रुपए. हम्म वो किसी और डेरी वाले को बेच देगा सो वी सेम इज एट विलेज सोसाइटी इफ एनी फार्मर ब्रिंग्स मिल्क एडल्ट्रेशन उसको रिजेक्ट नहीं करते उसमें रेड कलर डाल देते हैं बट समटाइम्स व्हाट एपन्स यू आर गिवन द प्रोडक्ट इन द मार्केट प्रोसेसिंग में कुछ प्रॉब्लम होगी एंड समटाइम्स रिजेक्शन इन प्लांट लेवल पे भी होता है वहां पर भी होता है होल बैच इज डिस्ट्रॉइड याद है एक दो बार हमारा चीज में प्रॉब्लम हुई कितना हमने चीज व्हेन बाय द टाइम इट मेच्योर्ड क्वालिटी में प्रॉब्लम आ गई वी डम्प्ड इन दी अर्थ दबा दिया नेवर कॉम्प्रोमाइज सो सर आई वाज रीडिंग वन ऑफ द न्यूज आइटम्स यू नो सम डेज बैक आई थिंक इन अप्रैल and um, i was also going through a lot of literature on your work in sustainability and contribution to society you're doing a lot of work in that area and there was a tie up with sap india for delivering inclusive sustainable community project for uh, you know inclusivity could you please share some like yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, basically i'll give you acha ki aapke jo youngsters hai aapke sath dekhi pehle to main sustainability ke upar bolunga सस्टेनेबिलिटी इज ए वर्ड विच हैज बीन हाईजैक बाय मेली एक्टिविटिस्ट फॉर देयर ओन बेनिफिट देखिए सस्टेनेबिलिटी हैज गॉट डिफरेंट मीनिंग फॉर डिफरेंट आई विल टेल यू इन वन एनिक डोट कैन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड अभी इन द मंथ ऑफ अप्रिल आई वेंट टू वैंकोवर आई एम द बोर्ड ऑफ इंटरनेशनल डेज फिटर वी एट अ बोर्ड मीटिंग और बोर्ड मीटिंग के बाद जितने भी हम आठ नौ बोर्ड मेंबर तो उनको एक ऑर्गेनिक फार्म एक किसान का दिखाने ले गए इन द कंट्री ऑफ वैनकोवर तो एट हंड्रेड काउस का ऑर्गेनिक फार्म था तो एज सुन एज गॉट डाउन फ्रॉम द कार आई थॉट दिस फेलो मतलब हम तो इंडिया से है बेचारा किसान है इमीडिएटली फ्रॉम अ डिस्टेंस मिस्टर सोटी वेलकम टू माई फॉर्म डू यू रिमेंबर मी आई सर नो नो सर आई डोंट रिमेंबर कहता I have met you and listened to in 2014 in Quebec. Okay. And one line you told that time, I must have narrated thousands times to different gathering. So I said, "What is that?" I, I totally forgot what I spoke in 2001. And he said, "You said in that conference, Quebec, me, 
Sustainability starts when stomachs are full. <laughs> sustainability starts when stomachs are full. Take a kisan killer sustainability care livelihood. एक इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट के लिए इंडस्ट्री के लिए सस्टेनेबिलिटी क्या है हेल्थी बॉटम लाइन एक कंट्री के लिए सस्टेनेबिलिटी क्या है फूड सिक्योरिटी लॉ एंड ऑर्डर आज श्रीलंका में क्या हो रहा है टर्की में क्या हो रहा है बांग्लादेश में क्या हो रहा है सस्टेन फूड सिक्योरिटी नहीं थी तो होल अब कितना भी बट एज ए इन्वायरमेंटलिस्ट क्या है कि यू वॉन्ट टू ए गुड इन्वायरमेंट फॉर नेक्स्ट जनरेशन अब उसमें क्या हो रखा है कि दिस सस्टेनेबिलिटी हैव बीन हाईजैक्ड बाय सम वेस्ट इंटरेस्ट बड़े 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 कंट्रीज के बिजनेस ट्रस्ट टू बेसिकली स्टॉप और रिड्यूस दी बिजनेस कॉम्पिटेंस ऑफ डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज अभी वो कहते हैं कि इंडिया शुड नॉट प्रोड्यूस मिल्क बिकॉज ये मिथेन बहुत एमिशन करता है आपको मत है एनिमल का जो कार्बन या गैस का एमिशन इज ओनली फोर परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल एमिशन बाकी कहां से था ट्रांसपोर्ट एनर्जी हीटिंग ऑफ हाउसेस आप प्राइवेट प्लेन में इधर से उधर जा रहे हो सब्जियां कीनिया से मंगवा रहे हो वो सस्टेनेबल है एक गाय एक किसान के पास दो गाय है उसको पता है सस्टेनेबल नहीं है बट डेफिनेटली जो एस का प्रोजेक्ट हमने हैंडल कर रहे हैं सस्टेनेबल वो दैट इज वेरी गुड उसमें हमने एक तो डिजिटल लिटरेसी पे चल रहा है जी आजकल विद थ्रू एस ए पी वी हैव ओपन अप नंबर ऑफ विलेजेस में डिजिटल लिटरेसी की वी हैव गोट क्रेडिबिलिटी दे हैव पुट अप द टीचर्स एंड प्रोवाइडिंग लैपटॉप्स ओके हाउस वाइफ बेचारे को कुछ नहीं आता बच्चे बड़े सो इंटरनेट पे कैसे करना है कैसे बेसिकली आपको अपना जो आपके बेसिक प्रोग्राम होते हैं डिजिटल के वो पूरे करने के इसके साथ देर आल्सो वी आर वर्किंग ऑन द ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग एंड ग्रीन कॉलेज के ऊपर सो दे वट एवर देयर दे हैड सम सी एस आर बजट सो वी प्रोवाइडेड दम बेसिकली अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इम्प्लीमेंटेड अवर रूरल गुजरात थैंक यू Right, this is a lot of students have asked that what is that piece of advice that you would like to give it to the college students who want to become the future entrepreneurs. I can only say is India is the best country for any business. Reason is we have got one point four billion people, which will be one point six billion people with the more money to spend, and all the resources available. Very reasonable price skill is available. but any enterprise any business you want to grow one thing is there there's nothing you can achieve in overnight you have to really work very very hard ab jo bhi enterprise ke pehle laptop based business mat sochiyega ki air conditioner office baith ke laptop ke samne baith ke kuch mujhe app bana ke apna dhanda chalu karna hai wo nahi any brick and mortar enterprise you think try to become i tell everybody like give me example of food mm. you want to get a food is the best because 1.4 billion stomachs are there try to a technology is available in the market try to be a gali brand don't think mujhe pure india mein ya pure state mein jana aap apni gali kyunki any branded packed food product you can sell any service in a limited geography get 20% 15% market share then think about mohalla mohalle mein aapka 15 20% then think about city then district then state that jane so you have to geography should be increased be after getting very successful foothold in a limited geography but you should have lot of perseverance hard work to go Nothing can be achieved in short run. Overnight, कुछ नहीं मिलता. Right, sir. Right, sir. Sir, um, in your uh, talk, you shared that many of uh, you know employees and many of top leaders like you have had. You know, it has been your first jobs at Amul. 
um, what has kept all of you motivated and um, how have all of you, you know, or and you personally overcome some of your challenges as top leader? No, it's like generally what you look for in a job besides the naturally uh, economically uh, remuneration to change, you have to give your money. What is the satisfaction? And uh, see, it is not that during my last 40 years I couldn't get opportunity or I didn't feel like this. But mm-hmm. some of better sense prevailed. Okay. Because the youngsters these days, for them, sticking around because is a way the reason is they want to grow much faster than they deserve. Overnight, I have a classmate who has a salary, but I have a salary, but I have a salary. So I don't think I can tell you don't follow money. Do such a good job, hard work that money follows you. I have seen in many examples, some of the, including me, initial days when we have not followed money and tried working. Later on, money has followed us. And they are earning what in the first 20, 30 years may not earn much, which last 5, 10 years they earned. But I'm telling you, good job with a good brand, good company, with the very good value systems will always make you uh, make your career very successful. Right, I'm not saying you should not, you should change it. I'm not saying, but not just because of money or that you boss ki shirt ka color pasand nahi aaya, boss ne daad diya, naukri change kar lo. <laughs> Ji, right sir. Uh, sorry sir, a lot of participants are interested in knowing the story behind the Amul girl and the name Amul. देखिए पहली बात तो देखिए हाँ हाँ समझ गया देखिए अमूल ब्रांड व्हेन इन 50s डॉक्टर वर्गीस कोरियन स्टार्टेड ऑल इंग्लिश ब्रांड्स वर देयर डॉक्टर बंसल से कि वो पोल्सन था कैविंडर था मतलब फूड प्रोडक्ट इंडियन ब्रांड से बेच नहीं सकते थे एंड दैट टाइम वन ऑफ दी हिज केमिस्ट सजेस्टेड अ this is a story. Indian Hindi name with a well intent money. Or butter jo girl to men up kobataya ki sixties may Polson was number one brand and with not much money to spend, Dr. Vargas Guru told the advertising agency, Mr. Sylvester Dakuna ki, you have to build Amul butter with minimum money. Minimum money. So that time he came out with this uh, route of through topical campaign through hoardings. Utterly buttery delicious. Where she is commenting on anything happening in Bollywood sports. She is not afraid of anybody. She does not favor anybody. And she does not spare anybody. And nobody minds her. Right, sir. Right. Right, sir. Sir, do we uh, no. have many questions? There are many questions. <laughs> I think there's a lot of time. But I will just, just ask Hodisa one more thing. Okay. You know, since uh, he has been with this company all the, with Amul throughout, and he has started the job from ABC level and now reached the XYZ levels. Uh, do you, what have been the change on the, your responsibilities or your uh, kind of work that you were doing earlier and work you're doing now? I can, Dr. Bansal, I can say I joined in 1982 in, at Jaipur and my job was to, I passed out from IRMA, Institute of Rural Management, and my job was to start distribution of Amul products in Rajasthan by taking over from Voltas. Because that time Voltas was marketing most of our main products. So basically sales. Then uh, three and a half years in sales in uh, uh, Rajasthan, eight, nine years in Gujarat. I was in Gujarat. So first 13 years I was in sales. But then I shifted to the headquarter as a group product manager. Started looking after marketing. 
But I can tell you, from 93, 94 to today, more or less job is saved. Responsibility may have increased. That, so, that's the, a, uh, <coughs> <coughs> so, but time has changed. When I joined Amul, our turnover was 121 crore. And we were handling only 12 lakh liters of milk. And last year was 61,000 crore and we ended around 280 lakh. So that time when I joined Amul, I never thought that Amul would be such a big organization by the time I'm end of the, my career. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure like most of the successful leaders, most of the things that you were doing earlier are you're doing currently also. Is that correct assessment? Yeah. 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 They, so I just I mean, wanted... I just wanted to tell tell all the attendees and the listeners, they presume that if they if we are the MD or the CEO, we will just sit cozy in our rooms and the entire work will be done by somebody else. So since one has seen all this happening, and I'm happy that Sodi Saab is on his own saying the same thing. I thought I may not be faulted over here, that no, I don't do all those things. Now, I can only tell you, that for being a successful MD or a CEO, you will continue to be doing the same things, but maybe with better wisdom in a better way, and you'll be able to administer and manage better. Perhaps you continue doing the same thing, plus additional strategization. You see, because if you are not doing ground level activities, now whether you go to the market meeting retailers or salesmen, or day to day talk, taking care of, I must be getting seven, eight calls, just random calls from the consumers. If you are not connected with the ground, you will not get the respect and credibility in the organization, what you say. I've seen it. And people take it, what your what friends, they know that this fellow knows much more than. You're very right, you're very right, but I'm happy that you continue to be uh, as bold as a Sardar and as, <laughs> as straight as a Punjabi person. Okay, so many things that you said are not said by people from other places who are having different grooming. They are very political in making those statements, but you have been very direct and very straight. So I'm very happy to meet you and interact Thank with you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure and we're looking forward to having you very soon at the campus. Yeah, yeah, sir. yeah. and uh, Anuradha ji, grateful to you for all the support that you've been extending and for connecting Shodhi ji. You will continue to be the bridge between two of us. Yeah, we would we would love to cherish that relationship. Yeah. No, it has been an absolutely very engrossing, very enlightening, very informative, educative hour and a half and even the questions which were asked were very nice you know the challenges and dr sodi talked about the challenges uh, very openly and it was a pleasure going through this session real pleasure thank, thank you, you very much dr sodi enjoyed every minute of it thank, thank you. you very much and one has not seen so many questions let me tell you we have been uh, so disturbed doing this webinar since May 20 because government uh, declared us as the mentor business school of the country and then came COVID and we didn't know how to how to uh, be performing the mentorship role which has been assigned to you. We could have kept silent for two years doing nothing in the name of COVID. So this we started doing this pan India and it has been a very satisfying experience because people across the country come join because say about 350 people join today and large number of them are seeing online at the Facebook and thereafter they will keep on seeing on the Facebook and YouTube later on. So it's a big great experience and it has been happening only because of people like you're coming to the platform. And that is what we request that our job is to take whatever you people have, not only to our students, but to as many people as possible. So we will look forward to your support, your guidance, and your hand holding in the coming years. Definitely, sir.
Thank you very much for giving this opportunity. I wishing all the best to everybody. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you all the attendees for being with us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Monica. And thank you, Radha Ji, a very, very big way. And all the best to all the people who have been here throughout. They, I'm sure they have learned a lot. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you.